Hey everybody, King here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my go-to exercises for shoulder pain. The good news with these is that they're quick and easy to do and all it requires is minimal equipment. My first go-to exercise is going to be using the ball to help loosen up all the soft tissue in the front of our shoulder and right underneath our collarbone. So it's kind of in this region here. So I'm going to take the ball and I'm going to be rolling it along this spot here. In this case, what I have here is I have a supernova ball that I'm going to place right on the rack. I'm going to go ahead and just lean my weight forward so that I'm pinning the ball in between my, my body and the rack. And I'm just going to allow my weight to lean into it and allow the muscle to loosen up. Now, as I get into this position here, I have everything tacked down, then I'm just gonna go ahead and roll myself from side to side to try to massage out and loosen all of that soft tissue along the front of my shoulder and underneath the collarbone. Now, once I've also identified an area of restriction, what I'm gonna do here is then is gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and pin that ball right into that area of restriction, and then I'm gonna start to repeat some active raising of my arm out to the side. As I go through each pass, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to increase my range so then I'll see if I can lift my arm up a little bit higher to the side. The next movement that I'm going to take myself into now is just going to be into some overhead flexion followed by some extension and internal rotation of the shoulder. So as I'm going to raise my arm up overhead and as I bring my arm down to the side, and I'm going to bring it across and behind my body and repeat these passes a couple of times as well. The next thing I'm going to do now is just going to go ahead and work on some shoulder retraction followed by extra rotation. And repeat a couple of passes of these. And then I can also take my arm into retraction and internal rotation. And when I repeat the internal rotation, I'm going to try to keep my shoulder from rolling forward. Now my second go-to exercise is now to take that same ball and work on the upper trap region. So that's just all that thick muscle that sits right between our ear and our shoulder. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use the rack once again. We're gonna have to pin it right between our body and the rack right in that upper trap section. When I get myself set up here on the rack, I want to make sure that I'm allowing my shoulder to relax so that I'm not hiking it up towards my ear. And I'm just going to go ahead and just start to just rock myself from side to side and try to loosen up that upper trap. Now if I kind of just like, if, I, if I'm rocking myself from side to side here and I feel an area that's restricted, then what I'm going to do is just kind of tack myself down See if I can apply a little bit more of that weight into the ball and then start to add a little bit of head movement now. So I'm going to work on just rotating my head from side to side. Try to loosen it up a little bit further. I'm just going to show you a different angle here. Go ahead, just tack down again. Lean the weight in, allow the shoulder to relax, and then turn the head from side to side. Now, if you also want to just increase the stretch and, and, and this release here of this upper trap, then what you can also do now is also add a little bit of like a side bending piece to it. Pull it across. So I'm going to try it out here. Lean the weight in, pull the head across, and just try to allow that whole area to loosen up even more. All right, so now I have a little bit of a stretch here through the upper trap, and then now I'm just massaging and rolling it out. Too. Okay, just get a little bit of a side bend, stretch it out, and roll yourself. So we've already worked on the front of our shoulder, on our upper traps, and now the next spot that we're going to work on is the lats and the teres minor. The lats and the teres minor are the thick muscles that sit right along the armpit region. So if you just kind of take your thumb, dig around by your armpit, and find like a nice massive wad of muscle, that's going to be your lat and your teres minor area, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the ball, I'm going to put, wedge it right in that, to that spot, and I'm going to lay, lay myself onto the side, and then allow my weight to start to settle on top of that ball to loosen up that muscle. Now one of the ways that I can get this muscle to relax a little bit faster is to work on some breathing. So I'm going to take a nice big deep breath in 
followed by a nice long exhale. And during the exhale, I'm really going to concentrate just allowing this whole area to relax and soften up. So I'm just going to repeat this a couple of times to see if I can continue to get this muscle to relax a little bit further. So say time has passed and now that muscle is finally relaxed, then what I'm going to do now is just going to work on some active movements of the arm. So I'm going to just internally rotate and externally rotate my shoulder. And as I'm going through these motions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to envision or imagine that I'm allowing this muscle to slide over the ball as my hand moves from side to side. The lats are such a big muscle group here that you can spend a decent amount of time just rolling yourself up or down, finding a spot of restriction, and going through that whole process again of just deep breaths followed by some active ranges of motion. So now the last area that we're going to work on is going to be on the uh, soft tissue that sits right along the back of your shoulder blade. So the one landmark that we're going to find here is going to find the spine of our scapula, which is this, this bony, which is like this bony, bony prominence on our shoulder blade that runs from side to side, okay, it runs across. And we're going to, now this one gets a little bit tricky because you have to get yourself into the right position. So we're going to end up taking the ball and we're going to roll out that soft tissue that sits right above the spine of that scapula and right under the scapula, okay? So as you place it down the ground, you just have to angle yourself the right way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just position the back corner of my shoulder onto the ball. And once I get to that point, then I'm gonna start to rock myself from side to side to loosen up all that soft tissue. I can also take my arm through some active ranges of motion. So again, this is gonna bring my arm across the body, away from my body, and think about that muscle gliding as my arms move across and away, across and away. And it's gonna trace that bony landmark, find another area, and repeat the same motions. And that right there, guys, is just a collection of my go-to videos for shoulder pain. I'd love to hear what you think about it, so please leave me a comment on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Thanks for watching.